Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create this beautiful animated hourglass chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created three hourglass, for, one for service level, quality score and a third one is for productivity. And these are animated and the data driven chart. If I will change the value of service level, it is currently 35% filled. You can see here, let's say I want to take it as 90% and as soon as you will press enter, you can see an animation here and it will be filled 90%. All right. Similarly for quality score, if I will type here, let's say 75, then it will look like this 35, then it will be like this for productivity. Alright friends, so these chart can be useful in your business dashboard or business presentations. Alright, so we will learn how we can create this in Microsoft Excel. So let's start. I'm going to copy this data and we'll add a new worksheet here and I will paste this data here. First of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So I'll go to the view and uncheck the grid lines. Now, before creating this chart, we need some support column. So I'll create a chart for service level and all the other chart will be created similarly. So I'll show you how we can create one chart. All right. So I'm taking here service level. For the timing, I'm just taking the same value here. So I'm just creating few support cells here or support column. Now this is our actual value right now i'll take four support column here the first one will be 100 percent minus this value and the second one will take the same whatever this value is now the same value we will take in negative also all right so to take the negative i'll multiply this value by minus one and similarly for the next one multiply by minus one now we will change it the format as percentage and let me highlight this just for timing so we will create the chart using these cells now i'll go to the insert then charts and i will insert a 2d stacked column chart this one now here you can see this chart has been created now right click on the chart go to the select data here in select data you can see this option available switch row column click on this and click on ok now our chart will look like this now right click here go to the format axis and here we will take minimum value as minus 1 which is minus 100 percent and maximum value as 1 which is 100 percent positive 100 percent and close this format access window now click on chart element button this plus button and uncheck all the elements from here resize the chart like this now select the chart go to the format save fill as no fill and shape outline as no outline now in our our glass this will be the filled area so we will fill our color whatever color you want to put here let's say i'm just giving any color uh, for the time being i'm just taking let's say this color violet color then then the this area will be the blank okay so i'll fill it no fill now, again this will be the filled area uh, on the upper part so we'll take the same color like this and this will be the blank area in the upper part so we'll take as no color all right friends now we will create a r glass shape to create the R glass shape, we will take the help of uh, PowerPoint presentations 2013 or above version. So I have already opened it. Now here in this uh, PPT, I'll go to the insert and shapes. I will go to the block arrows and will pick up this shape, which is pentagon. Click on this and just click here. So this pentagon shape has been created. 
Now I'll rotate this shape from format, rotate it on rotate right 90. Now make a copy of this, select and press Ctrl D. So it will be a duplicate of this shape. Now the this shape we will again go to the rotate and flip vertical. So we have two shape now. We will keep both the shape like this and slightly the second shape I'll keep above the first shape like this. All right. Now select the both shape together. Go to the format, merge shapes, and here we'll select this union. Now this is the single shape because we have made it union. Now again I'll go to the insert shapes and this time I'll take this rectangle. Drag this rectangle here like this and right click send it to back. Now we will pick this shape the first shape and put over this rectangle. Now select this rectangle and this R glass shape together and go to the format merge shape. This time we will choose combine. Now again select this shape, go to the fill. We will fill the white color here. Shape outline, we will choose some gray outline like this. Now copy this shape and right click and paste as picture here. Now this is the picture so we can crop it to remove the outside boundary so go to the format click on crop and we can remove the outside boundary crop now copy this shape again go to the excel and right click paste as picture now we will keep our shape here like this just for the time being I am putting the value of service level 100%. So our chart should be exact on this middle point for the 100%. So we will adjust this like that. Alright, so it is on 100%. Now if I will put the zero value of service level, then bottom area will be blank and top will be filled. If I will put here, let's say 40, then it will look like this. So our R glass chart is almost ready now we will create another shape here a small rectangle so go to the insert and first of all we will choose a rectangle like this then we will choose another rectangle and this time we will create a small rectangle like this and we will keep here then go to the format select both the rectangle and remove the shape outline choose as no outline Alright, make sure the uh, height should be equal. So I'm taking 1.3 here and similarly for this is already 1.3. So now we have two shapes. So the bigger rectangle we will fill as white color. This Now this color we will change as the same color which we are taking on our glass chart. This one. Now select these both shapes and go to the align as center and middle right click make this group now copy this shape and select this blank area of the bottom and just paste this shape here press ctrl b so it will look like this now move this shape here and just for the timing again i am putting 100 so i can adjust my shape so it is looking perfect if i will change the value let's say 80 then it will look like this so we can adjust this little bit left so that it will be in middle all right so now we can change it 20 and it will look like this so we can make the group of chart and this shape make the group all right now we can put the animation here to putting the animation we'll go to the developer tab visual basic and we are working on c2 double click here select uh, worksheet in place of journal in place of selection change just select change and remove this code selection change and now here you can see the target as range already available so what we will do we will change this and 
it will update this O1. So our target will be B1. So we can put the condition also if target dot address equal to B1 and then we'll put the dollar sign here and dollar sign here. Then if we will make the change in the value of V1 then only this certain code will run okay and what will be the code so here I'm just taking dim i as integer and for i equal to we'll take 0 2 and target dot value so target dot value means b1 dot value which is in percentage so i'll multiply it by 100 again it can return a decimal number so i'll put a int formula here int int so that i'll get the exact integer next i active seat dot range o1 dot value equal to whatever the value of i and then again we will divide it because here we have multiplied it by 100 so we'll divide it by 100 now it may not be the exact value there can be a difference of decimal so at the last we will put this value equal to target value All right. to see the animation we have to put do events here all right now if i will change the value let's say 80 then you can see an animation here all right to create the data level i'll go to the insert and then i'll take some bird art from here let's say i'm taking this one i'll connect this uh, select this text box and go to the formula bar press equal to and connect this with this O and press enter. You can change the size of this and now you can keep this here. If you will change the value of this let's say 51 then you will see an animation in this text also right. So friends that's how you can create this R glass chart in Microsoft Excel. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the watching.